All right, I got the call to go do my COVID test. We have to do that to stay overnight at St. Thomas. So went and did that yesterday and uh, now going to the airport to get the flight planning ready to go to St. Thomas. I wanted to share this photo with you real quick. We uh, landed in Tampa and our pastors got to take a picture with the Super Bowl trophy. And we also got the opportunity to do the same thing. So just to warn you, as we're pulling into Elite Jets here, this video is a two-part series, uh, really long. I tried to win into detail of the flight as much as I can. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, part two should be out soon. We'll start out with the performance of the aircraft, and then to go on to uh, pre-flight, and then on to the flight. All right, at the airport, and now I need to do my flight planning and pre-flight, get ready for passengers. So 3,000 pounds of fuel at 410, and we need 4,200 minimum with our alternate in reserve. And then the next flight coming back, we'll have to get fuel, 3380 at 410, or 400, and we need 4,500 essentially. So looks like uh, flight time is two hours and 47 minutes. from here nope thought maybe I could connect to the office I'm sitting in another truck doing this so let's see if I can connect to the lead gents Wi-Fi oh we are connected great then I should be able to Two passengers today. And we're approved for standard weights.
Otherwise, we're going to be dry this morning. Zero eight zero, so one zero is closest runway. We'll do flaps full, and uh, we'll calculate it wet since we know there's a chance of rain down there. And we have all of our numbers: so takeoff numbers and landing number. So we'll go back to weight and balance. release and if we don't have any errors it'll generate the release and that's it I got to do my SMS my safety release and then we're off to uh, pre-flight walking into the hangar past the company Tesla all right here we go need to pre-fly and I know it's gonna be loud some icon flying going on today and there's the legacy over there. Got everything set up, got my bag in here. And uh, since I'm gonna be out of here, I'm gonna turn the batteries back on and arm the uh, emergency lights. I turn those off when I'm gonna be away from the airplane. That way if the GPU stops, it will run off the battery power and stop our battery. I run our battery dead. All right, so turn on the power over there. One more little check. The auction, make sure it's in packs auto, push our cutoff in, check all of our heating, make sure it's off, and gear down uh, before I turn on the battery. So those are kind of the quick check before you go through all your normal flows. And of course, I turn on the nav light and arm the uh, emergency lights. And then uh, I always come back here and you hear the air conditioner on. Um, make sure the emergency exit pins out. And then I come back here and I flush the toilet. Make sure it doesn't smell and then it's got and it's nice and blue. Very important for the passengers, make sure it's nice and clean. You see our first aid kit and our life vest in there. Of course I always make sure plenty of toilet paper and also the trash cans are clean back here. Nobody ever hardly uses the trash can back here, but I know. I want to make sure it's clean. It's like they're going to have fun in the icon today. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Pretty crazy. All right, so door, general conditions, door sill, everything looks good here. General conditions. What you see here is an integrated air data install protection probe, IASP. It's a multifunction probe. It does not only air data, but it also has a stall protection computer. Fixed smart probe, RBSM area, oxygen, uh, blowout disc, ice protector. Detector, wind chill, general conditions. And down here, somebody's already put the, the pin in and the scissors. Comes out the other end, make sure our pin is latched there. So normally they pull the uh, gear pins, but they haven't done it today. So you kinda gotta get in the ground, you can see. Kind of the same thing here, we're checking both the uh, Mark Pros, RBSM area, general conditions. Planning and taxi lines. I don't know if we got fuel yet or not. We're about to find out. Fuel cap's on tight. See here, and I also make sure it's flat. Yeah, we have 5,200 pounds of fuel. Max fuel for the Phenom 300 is 5,401 and usable is 5,353.
200 pounds of fuel, we're all good on fuel. Close the back fuel door. After I close them all, I like to step back just to make sure I got them all. All right, now we're gonna get the other gear pin. It's easier to get from this side than the other side. <clears throat> That's how I walk around just to go get the other gear pin. That way I can lay them down while I'm doing my walk around. And we always set them right here so the next guy can verify that the door pins are all closed. So there's the three pins. A little windy today, I'm sure we're getting wind on the microphone. Make sure that the doors, fuel caps close and the arrows line up. General conditions. Always come up here and check out the map event. Lights. And I always count, there's Tyler right there, I always count all the uh, static whips. Just because it, uh, well one, you make sure your static whip's there, but also control surfaces are all there when you count all the static wicks. And then here, we're gonna check both the brake pins. Like the brake has to be set to check those. I always like to keep the gear uh, hook or gear up lock. I check that and of course I can check and make sure that the flag didn't blow up and it's not, uh, gear pin is not in. Come down here, I'm gonna check the last service. Make sure the cap's on tight for the refill. It's really loud. I hear if you uh, if it if it comes loose in there, it just vibrates. And it's really loud. General conditions here. Checking the vents. Same thing here. Start generator cooling. And let's gonna check up here and check the uh, oil. Looks like we're good on the oil here, and the oil cap's on. Cow fasteners, a heat exchanger, and then a air conditioner. General condition, you can see the slurb in here. The slurb is a spring-loaded rudder boost, and it provides additional force to the pilot if needed. Here. We go up here, check all my static quicks, check the control surfaces, make sure they all look good. Uh, ventral rudder, it just pre flaps out there right now. So, uh, heat exchanger up there, and then the air conditioner. Same thing, vent, cow, fa cow fasteners, and then uh, we'll check the oil here. It's good. And make sure the cap's on, which is good. Here, come over and check hydraulic, so we're just check the deep. DPIs, make sure there's no leaks. Both DPIs are in, everything looks good here. Come back down here, we can check all the same thing. We're checking the pins here. You can see that they're not uh, flush. So I got good brakes on this side. Same thing here, general conditions. You got your up lock pin. And then the uh, up lock up there. Same thing out here, general conditions. This is where the trim tab is on this side, on the left side. Uh, right side doesn't have trim tab. Check the vent there. Same thing, general conditions, check the lights. And then uh, general conditions. Check our uh, fill cap here. This one has an ice light on the left side also. We can check you. Yeah. All right, we'll get set up here. iPad, everything else is on. 
Yeah, battery discharge is pretty normal. Alright, let's get the Aetis first. And somebody stole the pin. Oh, I have one here. So bring up a chart. It is 3422. For one whiskey. Caution for bird and wildlife activity on and in the vicinity of the airport. Ground control and clearance delivery combined on ground frequency 121.6. Hazardous weather information for Southwest Florida available on flight service frequencies. North self refueler out of service. Advise you have echo. Right, Maple Star information, information Echo, Echo, time 1350 Zulu, wind 190 at 11. Visibility 7, sky condition ceiling 700 broken, 1600 broken. Temperature 242.22, altimeter 3008. RNAV approaching, use sliding and departing runway 23. Use caution for bird and wildlife activity on and in the vicinity of the airport. Ground control and clearance delivery combined on ground frequency 121.6. Hazardous weather information for Southwest Florida available. Available on flight service frequencies. North self refueler out of service. Advise you have Echo. Maple Star information right, Echo. at the airport via so radar we're vector off Lakeland, at then as filed. 1430. Okay, so our clearance should be there. Uh, radar vectors, Lakeland, and then as filed. 710 Pop. Similar 77 Pop, the Rebecca is correct. Ground November 6 Alpha IFR to Tango, India, Sierra Tango with Echo. November 6 Alpha, Naples Ground, clear to Tango India, Sierra, T Sierra Tango Airport, as filed, maintain 2000, expect flight level 41010 minutes after departure, departure frequency 126.8, squawk 4564. Clear to file 2000, 410, 10 minutes, 126.8, and 4564 for November 6 Alpha. November 6 Alpha, Reback is correct. All right, got our clearance. Good so morning, Ron. This go is Woodward, our... 124, standing by IFR to Pontiac PTK, and we're over at Na Naval We're going to go Navy through our flow here. Echo. So I'm going to turn the mic mask on. We're going to check the IFV. We're going to check the voice data recorder. Hold it up for at least five seconds. I was going to get a check. Fox Auto. Push cutoff is in. Departure frequency 126. mask. We can hear it. Three, and then six, we can come seven, up seven. here and turn off the speaker. Battery 1 and 2 on, electrical emergency, flights distinguished. So we're really looking for everything in the 12 o'clock position or auto. So bus ties auto in the 12 o'clock position, generator 1 and 2 is on. GPU is in use. We got bleeds 1 and 2 in auto, and cross speed is auto for the bleeds. We're going to come over here and check the fire protection. So we get fire. We do have echo. Fire. Delta to 23. Dot com 3431. Good check. And then smoke. Papa is in front of a good check. Fine. And then we're going to check it out there. Three on the left. Echo. Have Echo 7. Three on the center. Here, here and three down here. So we're all good on that. Bravo all right, come up here and check the light. Nav lights on. Emergency lights are on. We're going to do 160 on the way out. Runway 23, taxi via Alpha. Alpha 23710 Papa. And I'll have to take off, go around. And we'll do heading for now. Check the oxygen pressure. Brake release. Our emergency brake pressure. And then uh, over here, fuel. We got auto, auto, off. Shut off valves are open. PLT is arm. PD belt on. Maintain Everything else is off. Gears down. Pressurization is auto. ECS is both. Fans on. We got the air conditioner on. Uh, Dumps distinguished. Uh, temperature control is set. Alright, I'm coming down here and check the trim. We'll hold it until it stops. See right here, I'm checking the yaw trim. And it stopped. We're going to go the other way. And after three seconds, it should stop. Always wait and make sure it stops all the way. That way, when we take off, we don't get a cast message for the trim. If we can put it back where they took off, it usually works out better. Roll the other way. Their battery discharge mission is normal with our GPU. Let's check. We're going to go to backup trim. I'm going to move it to probably going to be somewhere around 8.9. So I'm going to do all the way down. Hold three seconds and you'll hear 
stop. Trim, trim, trim. And then the other way. Or hold trim, it. hold it. Trim, trim. So here's our primary trim. Trim. So we hold it for three seconds. It stops. And we'll hit trim, 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 trim. So we let go. Trim. We go back the other way. We'll hold it three seconds. Um, trim, trim, trim. No, we don't have to do that in this airplane. It's not required. And we hold this for three seconds, our chesties, until it stops. And I make sure it chops, because otherwise, guys, when they take off, if it's different than what they landed with, they'll get the cast message. So I always tell people, hold it. After three seconds, it stops. I tell them to make sure it's stopped, and then go back the other way, and then it's in the, right, the exact same position. That helps you keep guys from getting cast messages. And then you go to the backup pitch trim, and then you just hold it down for three seconds. You'll get the trim, trim, trim. I'm not sure. There, there are some there in front All right, of you, so trim is sure checked. You can uh, just um, move um, there. Auto, auto. All lights are out. Flaps are matching the out guide position. Speed brakes are closed. Throttle's idle. Parking brake is uh, on. Starters are off. Initials are auto. You'll Grand see that out of maintenance sometimes. Initials will go to off. Echo, red uh, bottle is off, and then the shut off. One and two are off. The red Over the right like. side. Again. Turn it back off. Yeah, we need to turn off the speaker on this side also. We turn off the speakers because on the trim check, or at the stall check, the speaker is supposed to come back on. Alright, so that's our, our flow. We're all set on that. We'll just run our checklist here. That's it before that. Let me set up uh, the... Uh, Box here. So weather radar, we're going to turn it on and it'll go to standby. It just makes the uh, radar wreck so it doesn't bounce around. Flight plan, we'll put it in there. We're going uh, APF to TIST. And our route, Arbor, A A D E R. And then SAX, S A X X N, Saxon. And then our last, our, then we get an airway, so we'll go, we'll click on the uh, last fix, load airway. And then uh, click to airway, Yankee 290, and then it'll tell us our exit point, which should be on here. It says jets. Is on load airway. Get rid of this message. Invalid ADM. That'll reset. And then uh, I like to go to flight plan options. Show on map. Make sure everything looks good. We have 1,055 miles, which matches our flight plan within a couple miles. Flight plan's done. Aircraft systems. So we've got ADIS. So we're going to set data. We have 24 degrees. Celsius, send data. You can't leave the screen until it actually is turned screen and says accepted data. There it goes, data accepted. And then we'll check our LFE. As soon as we go into the LFE, since we got our, our uh, destination, it automatically puts in our LFE or our pressurization. I'm going to go to utilities and uh, trip status. So for our information, we need to write down Hobbs and our beginning fuel. The beginning fuel is five two two zero, and our starting Hobbs is two zero seven nine point six. And I've already checked our MELs. There's nothing uh, written up on the MEL or no open write-ups. We're going to performance. Stable ground, jet center target with south ramp. Let's go to jet center north ramp, please. And let's see how much runway we need. Uh, for takeoff, 3664. 3664 is entered. And landing, not quite sure, but uh, the landing we need 2937. We can put that in 2937. 
We'll put the landing runway here in a little bit. We need to set up our speeds. They're all on our release here. So we got 108. 108, 118, and 136. Those are all on. You can see them display up here. Now we're going to put in our landing speeds, 107, 107, and 122. Since we don't need those, we'll turn those all off for now. The performance all done, and that's everything. So we're all set. We'll run our checklist. Before starts. Before start checklist. Parking brake is set. Battery 1 and 2. They are on. Doors are uh, verified closed. Fuel quantity verify 5200 on board and 4200 required. 5200 board, 4200 required. Engine takeoff data is set. LFE is uh, in the green and set. Trims are uh, set. AFCS is uh, set. Takeoff speeds are posted. Transponder. All right, altimeter is verify 3008. 3008 times 3. ADS probes is uh. Auto. Four star checklist complete. Roger. All right, starting number two. Good start on two. Now for number one. Good start on one. Watch yourself. Stall, stall. Stall, 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 Number 5-7, Mike Papa, you have 8 a sec call? I do. Uh, we're going to request a uh, special VFR. That's what we needed here. All right, give me the info again, please. Right, going to, uh, test our checklist, GPU, swaps, are tested. test knob, Off. flight controls, checked. Correct. flaps, R1 we said Mike Pop, one. Two, three, test two, messages three, me. cleared, both engines verified be, running, verified running. electrical emergency, was uh, checked and uh, out. Have to start checklist complete. Roger. Grand, hello, uh, 7 November 247, Mike Bravo, is at the front of Elite Jets with uh, Delta ready to taxi. Number 247, Mike Bravo, ground, runway 23, taxi via Alpha, and you have Adis Echo. Yeah, we'll get Echo for uh, 7 Mike Bravo. 7 Mike Bravo, runway 23, taxi via Alpha. Holy cow. 23 via Alpha, 7 Mike Bravo. You ready? Yeah. Ground, November 6 Alpha, is ready to taxi from Elite Jets with Echo. Number 6 Alpha, ground, follow the Challenger to runway 23. Follow the Challenger, runway 23, November 6 Alpha. How's it going, Dan? Good, how you doing? Not too bad. Awesome. Glad we going somewhere warm. You're going somewhere warm? A firm. Oh yeah, you are. I mean, you're kind of already someplace warm too. <laughs> True. All right, number seven, Mike Papa. Departure frequency is 126.8, squawk 2103. 126.8 on the frequency and 2103 on the squawk. By some Mike Papa. Are you ready to go? Do you need a run up? I need a run up. Okay. Um, we can only have you in the air when there's no IFR, so you may take a little bit of a delay. Let the tower know when you're ready to go. Roger, we'll do. Five seven like Papa. Naples ground, CR three. CR three ground. CR3 plus one at the uh, station apron and alpha over to uh, Sheriff's hangar for a uh, fire alarm. CR3 plus Take one, off. Roger, proceed okay. alpha Charlie, hold short runway two three. Alpha Charlie, hold short of two three, CR3 plus one. CR3 plus one, cross That's runway two three, Charlie, and, and uh, just keep going north on Charlie. I'm going for you in two seconds. One, it has been engine fire failure. Ground six five eight, eight out. Flight control Alpha malfunction. Alpha. It's going to be unsafe to fly with. CR3 plus one, After cross runway one. two three, Charlie. I'm going for you in a second. Left turn there. You're going to Charlie. You just went right through Charlie, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much, Charlie. Cross <laughs> runway two three, please. CR3 plus one. Roger that. My bad. CR3 plus one, crossing uh, two three. CR3 
three plus one. Charlie three, Carl right, Charlie Charlie one four, for Bravo for three, and Bravo to the sheriff. All right. All right. After Charlie V, three, Bravo or, uh, three. After V one, we'll plan on taking Bravo. it or treating it as an in-flight emergency. Cross one four. We'll hold all memory items three, and check this to fifteen hundred feet. Who's clear? Two three. And if we need an immediate return, we'll Round plan on going over to our Tango, a little short of Alpha here. A longer runway. Where would you like to go, sir? Going over Naples Aviation. Right off Tango, left turn Alpha Taxi parking. Any questions? Left on Alpha the park, and two five eight off. Negative. Alpha. Comments, concerns, rude remarks. No rude remarks today. Ooh, that's the first. <laughs> Yeah, that control it. He's in the flying club. Oh, Dan? Yeah. Dan the man? Dan the man. Great. <laughs> There's actually two of the controllers down here that are in the club. Oh. Uh. Alright, we're up on tower. Alrighty. I'll bring your first fix out here. Tower, good morning, November 247, Mike Bravo is holding short 2-3 at Alpha, ready to go in sequence. Very nice. Good. Good. I checked their IDs and uh, COVID tests. I don't know if we need to before, but. Yeah, I doubt they even asked for them down there, but we'll see. Yeah. Tower November 6 Alpha is ready at 2-3. November 6 Alpha, Roger. Have you moving here shortly? Hold short 2-3. Hold short 2-3, November 6 Alpha. Should I hold back here in case that guy goes? Not sure if this cushion helped. I'm sitting up higher. Number six Alpha Tower, fly runway heading, runway two three, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, clear for takeoff two three, November six Alpha. Clear right. Four seven Mike Bravo, can I clear on the left? Report takeoff checklist, takeoff configuration is checked. Fast Naples messages are cleared. Right, Eating ice protection. It's, uh, not required. Passengers are advised for takeoff checklist. Runway 23, clear to land. Uh, we'll look for that departure. Runway 2000, runway heading. Confirmed. And runway 323 is confirmed. 23. Ready? Air speed's alive. Power set. E non cross checked. Cross checked. You on VR rotate. Five seven Mike Papa, just as an update. Oh, he's right. Seriously, yeah. I'm about a three mile final now, so he'll get on the ground. I've got one more hawker coming out, and after him, I should have a hole to get you out of here. Roger, appreciate that. Five seven Mike Papa. Four hundred feet. Climb sequence.
November 6 Alpha, contact Barch, see ya. So long, November 6 Alpha. After takeoff checklist is complete. American 2005 for my departure rate of contact, climb and maintain 1, 0, 10,000. November 6 Alpha, leveling 2000. November 6 Alpha, full miles departure rate of contact, climb maintain 1, 0, 10,000, turn left thing 1, 3, 0. Left 1, 3, 0, up to 10,000, November 6 Alpha. American 2005, turn right, direct C shell. 10,000 is set, 130 heading please. Direct Saxon. Direct Saxon, November 6 Alpha. November 247, Mike Bravo. Confirm. Looks good. Yeah, please. 3475 for uh, 247, Mike Bravo. See ya. Good morning, Fort Myers. So first, plus 320 out of page, page 4. We are currently 800, climb up to 2000, maybe. Bucky 324 miles departure rate of contact, climb maintain 4000, turn uh, right direct Lakeland. Direct Lakeland, right direct Lakeland, right direct Lakeland, 4000. American 2005, contact Miami Center 127.2. November 6 Alpha, contact Miami Center 132.4. 324, November 6 Alpha, so on. Charlie Golf, Lee Maco, Romeo, contact Miami. November 6 Alpha, 6,500, climbing 1, 0, November 6 Alpha, Miami Center Roger, climbing team, flight level 230. Climbing team, flight level 230, November 6 Alpha. 230 set. November 6 Alpha, clear direct Saxon. Clear direct Saxon, November 6 Alpha. Climb checklist signs outlets are uh, built on. Which one and two? They're on. Cabin pressure is uh, pressurizing. Climb checklist clear. Delta 2331 out of 300 for 240. Delta 2331, Mason and Roger. November 6 Alpha, climb maintain, flight level 410. Climb maintain, flight level 410, November 6 Alpha. One zero. Four one zero set. Where's my notepad? I'm just starting to I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I do have two keys. Um, I didn't put one in my bag. But I grab it, I guess. We're going to lose XM out down there, right? Yep. Yep. I'll enjoy it for now. Okay. okay. I would enjoy it, but if I listen to it, then. I have to delete all the music. Oh. On the recording. <laughs> Miami Center. How about if I hum the song for you? Uh, yeah. Does that, does that count? count? So Lindsay lives out there by the State Forest. Oh, really? She's got a Jeep. I was like, oh, me and Tyler are going to go off road if you want to do it. She's like, yeah, I'll do it all the time. So. We'll make her go first. Yeah. <laughs> it shows the way. 
just got the cheaper vehicle. Down to 2331, just maintain for level 190. Down to flight level 190, that's point to 31. November 247, Mike, travel up higher, passing traffic in about two minutes. This actually isn't too bad, because like, it has me sit up a little more. So like you said, like my weight's kind of oh, forward. Yeah. We'll see. Ask me about hour, hour two. Yeah, I set my, I bring my seat way up too, because it gives me better brake pedal action. But so maybe, mine are pretty even. Maybe I'll, pretty even. Maybe I was sitting too far down before, because I feel like I'm kind of. It does. It does help if you raise raise your seat up. I feel like right now I'm like kind of high level with you as before. It must have been like down a little bit. So. Yeah. Yeah, when I put the stand on, I always had all the way down and all the way back. Yeah, the that's, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. I'd recommend, like, when you get in the stand, though, bring the pedals back at least one notch. Okay. Because you're going to need full. full just makes it, yeah, full authority, and it makes it a little bit easier. Um, if you have a back one on your legs, because you're going to be holding it for a while. <laughs> Uh, All right, 18. Climb transition check and list altimeters. Our uh, 2992 time to treat. Landing taxi light is off. Climb transition check list complete. Cool. Number 247 Mike Bravo, climb 18, level 230.